We're at the corner of Long and High at 2 East Long Street in the Atlas Building. Built in the early 1900s, the historic Atlas Building still stands tall. And during the lunch hour... A turkey probe on wheat, mayo and lettuce. <laughs> it's the place to be. What would you like, Jody? Well, at least this locally owned sandwich shop on the first floor. Meanwhile, the rest of the building sits empty. Like I said, when we purchased it, there was 350 people in it. I'm, I'm doing grilled cheese. Over the past five years, Chad Johnson and his business partner have poured nearly $100,000 into improving their space and keeping their clients happy. 250 there, Tom. Huh? Thanks, buddy. Yet despite this crowd... Chef salad ranch dressing, please. Johnson says times are tough. The aftermath of a fire in the building a few years ago forced the upper floor tenants out. Now the deli boys fear the end of the line is near. It made us sick to our stomach. We were very stressful. They recently received this note from the building's owner. As you know, we have struggled to keep this building open for the first floor tenants. The fire marshal in the city of Columbus are looking at the building and it's probably going to have to be shut down and we should probably look for another location. And although the Atlas building sits completely vacant above the street level, commercial real estate agents say there are much bigger headaches in downtown Columbus. Veteran commercial realtor Wayne Herrer remembers the 1980s when he says these big buildings downtown were just about full, but not these days. Well, if the market consists of about 10 million square feet of commercial office, uh, you have just under 20% vacant, so that would be two million square feet of vacant space. Of course, not all in one building. But if you put two of the Huntington centers together, that would represent your vacancy in downtown. Startling numbers to some, especially when you take a closer look at a few of the biggest holes. Wayne tells us the Chase building is just about 50% vacant. The 80-year-old Levesque Tower is nearly half empty, and the PNC Plaza is about 30% unoccupied. It's the middle of the city, you know? and we're building all these new places out in the burbs, it just doesn't make sense. It's surprising, it really is, and it's a shame because it's beautiful architecture that's just going to waste. From being from Columbus, I take pride in my community and I take pride in my city. Inside these buildings, it would need some updating. Signs of wear and tear. Some of the finishes are maybe a little bit dated. But also a show of history. And it's that history and a sense of pride. I'm getting some crackers. Keeping people like Chad Johnson and his deli boys downtown. In Columbus, Danielle Elias, 10TV News.